Yes, <clears throat> welcome back to our channel, SAP Official Training by K. Lakshman Swami. As a part of our interview question series, today I'm going to explain one more very important interview question. The question is, what is meant by GRIR clearing account? It's very, very important question, right? So here, when you claim that you have worked in MM integration also, right? Definitely the interviewer will ask you this question. So the question is, what is meant by GRIR clearing account? Here, GR means goods received and IR means invoice received. So then the answer should be like this. Here, when the MM is implemented, the purchase orders and purchase invoices are processed from MM. So when the MM is not implemented, right, we cannot process the purchase orders. Please remember, very, very important. See, you know, MM is also MM is also integrated with FI. So when the MM is integrated, the purchase orders, purchase invoices, right, then the purchase returns are always processed from MM. Then the FI component, the two accounts payable in FI component is used to process the payments. So when the MM is implemented, it is compulsory integrated with FI. Then the purchase invoice are processed from metals management. So there we follow the uh, procedure procurement to payment. Right? So when the MM is implemented, the purchase orders and purchase invoices are processed from MM. So GRIR clearing account means goods received invoice issued clearing account. And this is the temporary account created and used for filling up the accounting gap. So here, what is the accounting gap? First, we issue the goods. When we uh, place an order with the vendor for the metal supply, first the vendor delivers the goods. Then we receive the goods. After some time, you receive the invoice. So in between, right, we have to post accounting entries, right? For that purpose only, we use this GRIR clearing account. So basically, clearing account means it's a temporary account which is used to fill up the accounting gap. So GRIR clearing means it is a temporary account created and used for filling up the accounting gap. And this account is managed on an operative basis. So as part of procurement to payment process, when the goods receipt is entered in NEGO transaction code, the system will post the entry debit inventory of material account and credit GRIR clearing account. So this GRIR clearing account is created instead of vendor account. So the balance in the GRIR clearing account at the month end represent the amount of goods received but not invoiced. This is very, very important. The balance, right, at any point of time in the GRI clearing account represents, it represents the value of the goods received, but the invoices have not yet been received. So when the invoice is received and verified, that is posted in the Miro T code. Then the system posts the entry, debit GRI clearing account and credit vendor account. So in this case, right, the opposite entries to the GRIR needs to be cleared against each other. This clearing will be done using the F-19 trans F.19 transaction code. And this can be done automatically by using the PO and the line item number stored in the assignment field. So this assignment field will be there in the GRIR clearing account master record. See, this assignment field is represented with the name Sartiki in the GRIR clearing account, right? So in the Sartiki, the, the purchase order number will be there. So using the purchase order number, we can do the clearing of GRIR account balance, right? So next time we will, we will, I will explain you one more question, right? So I hope this is very helpful to you. So, so please subscribe, share, and like my channel. Thank you.